Radio on the go. Thanks, John. Yeah, this is really good, especially for those busy mornings when parents are trying to get kids off to school and maybe yeah. you forget to feed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you need something to take on the go. So this is called baked oatmeal on the go. Yes. And Ashley, is this your own recipe? Um, no, I, I found it in one of the cookbooks my grandma gave to me for Christmas one year, and it is just ideal for busy moms and mm -hmm. um, even to make for the producers, you know, headed out to the field in the morning. Oh, yeah, so. great. Does your son like it at all? Oh, yes. Does he? Yes. That's three. That's good. Yes. You got to meet oat milk. Yes. So how do you make this one? Where are some of the ingredients? Um, you'll start by just taking the eggs. Okay. Two eggs, it looks like. Yep. But for this, we're going to half the recipe. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Break it in half. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then basically, it's just dump and go. It, okay. Real simple. Brown sugar's mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. And applesauce. Yep, and we'll just kind of okay. mix that guy up there. Okay, you want me to do that while you... Sure, okay. sure, sure. Right, and then that's some milk. Yep. Okay. And then um, add a little bit of applesauce. Oh, I bet that well. makes it moist then, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, so they last a lot longer. Okay, and then what do we get there? A little bit of baking powder. Baking powder. Mm -hmm. And so you just keep stirring all this together. Mm hmm some cinnamon it looks like. Yep. All right. And just a little bit of salt. Okay. And then what kind of oats are we using? Are they quick oats or the old fashioned? Uh, it's the rolled oats. The rolled, okay. Mm -hmm. And, and some a vanilla. little bit of vanilla. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then you'll um, so stir all that together. Yep. Make sure it's good and blended. Okay. And then we'll add the oats into it. All righty. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then can you make this like, let's say, on a Sunday or on the weekend? Oh, yes. Yep. It's really simple to make. Takes 20 minutes to um, complete. Uh -huh. And then um, once we get it all mixed together, we would let it sit for about 30 mm -hmm. minutes, let the oats um, absorb all the liquids okay. and stuff. And then we will um, take all of the ingredients and then put it into muffin pans. All right. Yep, and then bake um, for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Wow, okay, so this, we're actually making like little muffins. Yes. Because at first, I mean, I saw this here, but at first sure. I was thinking when you first brought this recipe that it was going to be something you put in your refrigerator to go. But mm -hmm. this is something that you can have then all week. Right, yep. Perfect. Save in a little container and you got breakfast for the week. Great, okay, so what are some of the toppings that we can put on here? Um, I like to incorporate a little mm -hmm. bit of cranberries, a little bit of... Okay. Chocolate chip. My Ooh. little boy loves chocolate. Get some to eat in yes, it a little easier. Yes, yes. Some sweets on there. Um, a little bit of nuts for some protein mm -hmm. if you want. And um, sometimes I'll even throw in some blueberries. Great. Well, I'm going to so. do the chocolate chip one. Yes. <laughs> no surprise here. Um, and then how do you store them? Just in an airtight container? Yep. Yep. Okay. I'll give this a go. How long does it usually keep for you? Oh, it can last us mm -hmm. all week. And That's it's really it's good. really nice if you wake up late or got a mm -hmm. lot of activities in the morning so right mm, this is perfect yeah and better than a granola bar that you can buy i mean right. this is really good yes i'm going to give this a try and if you would like to